we get started. Uh, this performance by Paul Arthur Thompson is a relaxed performance. What that means is that the lighting state uh, should stay like this, and it did throughout the last hour, but we've had been having problems with it. Fingers crossed. Now I've done it. Uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, but you can, will definitely stay on no matter what, so don't worry so much about, I will get that sorted as quickly as possible. Uh, it also means there shouldn't be any loud sudden noises unless I forget to turn the volume on the laptop down. Um, and uh, that there will be music for atmospheric purposes uh, throughout the show. Uh, we also have a relaxed attitude towards sound and music from the audience for the benefit of those who can't sit still or stay silent for a full hour. On that note, if you need to take a breather at any point, there is a seated area, soon as you're coming ready to write. Uh, you're welcome to use that if you need to take a break, and of course you'll be welcome back in after you do take that break should you need it. Uh, I'm Naomi, I'm your stage manager for the day. If you need anything, I will be right over there. Give me a wave or uh, come over and I'll try and help you out and sort you out with what you need. We do have hearing loop headsets, so if anyone requires those, you can come and get those from me now. Other than that, I will pass you over to Leo, who is our game staff for today. Hello! Thank you. Uh, my name is Leo. I'm the games master from now till 10 o'clock. Uh, uh, just to do, do a quick rundown, just in case you're looking at this going, what is this? And if you're not uh, familiar, I feel like the three of you are, but uh, we're doing this anyway. Uh, this is a tabletop role-playing game, which means that the three people on my uh, left and right here have individual characters that they use to interact with a fantasy setting. I, as the Games Master, control everything else in the fantasy setting, uh, from uh, allies to enemies to, in the last few hours, dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, and we use dice to mediate, as I'm sure you're aware by now. Uh, just to give you a quick rundown of the story so far, very, very briefly, considering we've uh, run for 96 hours now, this is 97. Um, the players are members of a ship called the Spirit of uh, the Horizon, a scientific research vessel, which on its uh, one of its uh, most recent expeditions awakened an ancient evil god, uh, as tends to happen on research expeditions, exactly, this man knows. Um, <laughs> and they cast a spell uh, to try and get away, but uh, the spell that they cast was not a spell that they had control of, and it flipped them into a brand new reality, and now they're desperately trying to get home by trying to recreate the spell, um, desperately going across the world to find the pieces uh, that they need to do so. In the last couple of hours, they were asked by the queens of the Thundercrest Isles to see if the uh, the island of Nublar was uh, free for expansion, as Thundercrest is getting a bit too populous for the land that it has at the moment. Um, however, having got there, uh, they found that the, uh, the entire place was full of dinosaurs. Um, they watched a bronze dragon swoop down and start playing, uh, playing around with the dinosaurs, carrying one of them off, um, and eventually uh, came to know that this bronze dragon was called Moreau, and uh, Moreau was merely using this island to try and evolve the dinosaurs uh, along their evolutionary path. Uh, and in doing so, seems to have given them some odd abilities. We've seen a triceratops that can move twice the normal speed. We've seen brontosauruses that can cast earthquake-like spells. Uh, we've seen dilophosaurus that can cast prismatic-type spells. Um, that all got a bit noodly. Uh, and in the last, uh, the very last thing that happened was we saw a T-Rex out of nowhere blink into existence and go to attack uh, Jeffrey. Um, and uh, before we jump back to that moment, we're going to go around the table, meet the players and uh, their characters. So tell me who you are, what your character is called, and what would distinguish them from the rest of the crew of the ship. Hello, my name's Reese, and I'm playing Galbert Twinkletoes, the halfling monk. Um, the racist. The accent. Wow. He's also a eunuch. He's, he's, okay, got, that's fine, that's fine. he's got away with it for 95 hours. I have got away with it for <laughs> 95 hours. He got a compliment hours. from Ian. <laughs> he did, and I Ian's Ian. Scottish. Yeah, uh, fair play. Twinkletoes is a eunuch as well. I am nice. I love, I love him, Twinkletoes. He's my I think we've learned friend. enough about Twinkletoes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my character is Geoffrey Wigglebottom, a human sorcerer uh, who is the head of research uh, department's assistant. <laughs> um, and um, uh, apparently is very unpopular despite his high charisma. 
Um, I'm Chloe. I'm playing Relora Allenville, who is the recently appointed commander of the ship. Uh, it's been nearly a month now. Has it? Has it been that long? Mm. Really? Mm. It feels like a week and a half. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and uh, she's a, a half-elf bard, so tries to be quite inspiring as much as possible by, by singing a lot of songs to her crew. That's Excellent. how she operates. Not me. Uh, we can go straight into oh, yes. some sort of tense. Um, if you've got more of a, an ethereal battle music going on there, uh, rather than the heroic horns that we've been having, that would be grand. Um, and I assume, Galbert, that your dexterity is 18. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> No, it's not. Eleven. Eleven. Sexy eleven. I noted that down incorrectly last time. No wonder I went first. Yeah. That's fine. Sorry. Do apologise for that. Just needed to get that out of the way. Uh, And the Rex has Dex of ten. So, uh, Galbert. Yes. You went into battle with some tiny chicken-like, horrendous dinosaurs that just mobbed you and almost killed you and you were only saved by the fact that the spirit of the horizon ever since they cast this uh, super spell at the beginning seems to have uh, an odd tendency to teleport people in and out um, trading people with it it's convenient uh, because on this occasion it saved Galbert's life Uh, you woke up on the ship and you spent a good hour nursing your wounds with the ship's clerics um, and then the tingling started again. No, 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 not back. Please, not back. <laughs> what happened? What were you doing? Where were you? Um, I would have just come out of the infirmary. Just come out of the infirmary, literally walking. Just literally walking out back to my cabin, and at which point the spell would have taken effect, and I would have quickly grabbed the nearest mop. <laughs> um, so uh, Jeffrey and Relora, um, well, no, not Jeffrey. You're concentrating on this T-Rex, which is about to bite you. Yep. But Relora, you see uh, your uh, first lieutenant friend, uh, Redblade, uh, Horace Redblade, mm-hmm. be covered in the gold teleportation magic, and then suddenly, it's Galbert. That was an awful clap. <laughs> it's Galbert, um, this uh, two-foot gnome monk that you know quite Hot well. Thing. Sorry. Halfling Keep monk getting that confused. you know quite wow. well. Talk about <laughs> racist. Talk about uh, racist, yeah, jeez. Speciesist. Um, right, at this point, uh, the uh, the T-Rex is going to get a surprise attack on Jeffrey. <laughs> but I'm not moving. Is it a 16 to hit? <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, so it does... A billion points of damage. Like, close to that. <laughs> there's there's, there's going to be a rat of a lot of dice getting rolled at once. Playing that fucking song for the bloke who disappeared. <laughs> what, you were the one who was, well... Awesome. You, you initially, yes, I was awesome. That's you initially were confident about killing a dragon. I've rolled I, really well. I never I said don't want I was confident. To be here. <laughs> Sorry, Galbert. I don't want to be here. Do you know this place? It nearly killed me. You take. Four, I won't let it. You take forty-one piercing damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I rolled really well, <laughs> well, um, and are grappled. Oh. Unless you escape. By no, by its jaw. It just as it comes and just. You do have. On you have you. one potion of superior oh, healing because every crew Rex. member keeps it on them by okay. captain's orders. Just so that's you know. That's probably for the. Pe- <laughs> and then as a bonus action. <laughs> oh god! The tysor- uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> disappears. So I'm not grappled. You are still grappled. Oh, for fuck's sake! Relora. Wait, so he's disappeared. Relora and Galbert, you cannot see him anymore. The T Rex has disappeared and taken him with his uh, in his jaws. Uh, Galbert, it's your turn. Commander, back to back. Okay. Um, <laughs> I get. Back to back with the commander, uh-huh. and I hold my action mm-hmm. to wait until the creature reappears to hit it with a stunning strike. Okay, so you hold a stunning strike. Yep. And then, 
my bonus action, I'm gonna take the dodge action and expend it. No, you're not gonna lie, that. that's fine. No. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. Not doing that, sir. Um, Relora. Um, <laughs> okay, I've, uh -huh. I, I love this. this. Okay, so it's disappeared. It, what was the amount of time between, because it appeared, spat on me, disappeared, then came back. Yeah. And that was all, what, within like two Six seconds? Six seconds. Six seconds. Okay. Um, I don't know this area, do I? Nope. You're on the edge of a jungle. You were just about to walk into the jungle. Just about to walk into the jungle. But Galbert said he nearly died. I did. I grab hold of Galbert. Mm -hmm. I don't mention door to the other side of the plane, 500 feet away. Cool. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm re I'm really sorry, but she she you wants to make sure. Right, you don't make any friends. <laughs> I she wants to make sure right now she's he's safe. She can dimension it back later, but I mean this in all seriousness. You may need to roll another character. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey has a plan. She's I am the GM with the highest kill count so she's far. She's securing so Galbert. More she's, or less. That, she's not killing you. She's <clears> securing Galbert. That's fine. So Relora grabs you, uh, and your held action. Uh, and just suddenly there is a, a blue orb of magic just swirls around your face and now you're 500 feet on the other side of the plane away from where you were. Commander, what happened? <laughs> okay. You stay Jeffrey here. Says, um, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, uh, you are in a T-Rex's jaws. Good, thank you. <laughs> what would you like to do? Can I see outside the jaws? Nope. I can't. It's, it's grabbed you literally like that yeah so your torso is here okay uh so you're inside its mouth your legs are dangling outside its mouth okay so you can attempt to break the grapple that that's an option but that is is that a full move action yeah that's your action yeah you would then have movement hang on wait 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 wait, 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 wait. got it okay i'll try and do that I assume it's a fucking impossible strength check. Yes. <laughs> My strength is minus one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, if you, it, I, I'm a generous GM. If you can think of an inventive way of doing it that plays to your strengths, yeah. then... Yeah, rule of cool effect. You, you can also use your dexterity to do it, but no, your no, dexterity know, but is I plus zero. Uh, so. Okay, as far as I'm aware, I haven't disappeared, have I? No, you don't know you've disappeared yet. <laughs> In That's... that case, um, for my last known location, I would use uh, Dimension Door which has verbal components, <laughs> nothing else, 500 feet in the direction of where I last knew the plane was. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so describe to me your dimension door. How does it work? Um, it basically, it's basically like a kind of sound uh, with a kind of sizzle, like a kind of, like the flash kind of electricity that leaves um, kind of behind. Okay, cool. There's a boop sound um, and suddenly you are 500 feet in the other direction. Bless you. Thank you. I'm, I'm um, good. Yeah, no, it was good. That was a performer's sneeze there. Did you see that? <laughs> um, I did it on stage today. <laughs> <laughs> um, you take a moment to assess your surroundings. As far as you're aware, like the surroundings look the same, except there's this white sort of dust floating in the air, and the world seems somewhat... <laughs> monochromatic it looks oh for fuck's sake kind of bluish can, can i roll arcana to know i'm in the ethereal plane yes you can roll arcana to know you're in the ethereal plane from 15. you're in the ethereal plane oh for fuck's sake <laughs> right. and the t-rex is 500 feet over there and he's looking for his meal perception check for me please i'm not happy with you no neither's the t-rex well. Next to the T-Rex is, uh, is a nest of three baby T-Rexes. We're going to have words later, you and I. <laughs> Gods. <laughs> <laughs> who, who is your god? No, Not don't you. Worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, you still have movement. <laughs> and a bonus action if you Great! Got. No, okay, we can move on. No, to no, no. <laughs> I start running back towards the fucking T-Rex. <laughs> we, 
we do list this as suitable for like ages 13 or something. Uh, sorry, you F fudging T-Rex. We're on the internet. We're, we're on stream. Right. Okay, <laughs> beep this out. <laughs> Can you do that? No. We're not, we're not no. spending time to beat we're you live, out. We're live, dude. Oh, mother fudging, fudging, ducking, bastard DM. Sorry. That was, lasted, DM. that was almost better. So, so close to being better. So you move uh, 30 feet back towards the T-Rex. And I'd like to just point out, I'm looking very perturbed. <laughs> the T-Rex. This um, is James's second hour of playing with us. It's not on mail. The T-Rex spots you. Unless, you, unless you're particularly trying to be stealthy. No, no. the opposite. The t the t well, in that case, it spots you. Um, and it starts running straight towards you. Good. Uh, and it, it makes it about a, a about 50 foot, which means that there is now 420 feet, feet between yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, quite a way. Don't worry, I've got a plan. And then it disappears. Oh, God's sake! <laughs> Relora and Galbert, you see a T-Rex appear 420 feet away from... Well, no, sorry. 450 feet away from you. you it's know, running you, towards you. You want to know my plan? What, or what I was going to do? Because um, I, I assume from here, I can't see that he's not in his jaws. Yes. Okay, I... Well, I don't know. Roll a perception check. Uh, it would be lovely if this was high. It would be really nice if this was high. It's a critical success. Well done. Yes! The T-Rex is... I just have to ask the dice nicely. I've the not tried that. The T-Rex has its... You do, yeah, exactly. It's the heart of the dice. Uh, the T-Rex... Yeah, that was a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Uh, the T-Rex has its mouth open, screaming... And it's running uh. towards you. Um, Jeffrey's nowhere to be seen. Okay, Relora's a moron. Say if I can't do this, I want a dimension door onto its back. I'm leaving Galbert here. Sure, you can do that. Relora Roll does a grapple this stuff. check. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's you that? Can Is use, that acrobatics? Use your acrobatics, because that's that's <laughs> the better of your skills. She was promoted to command. I feel the need to explain. She was promoted to commander for her out of the box thinking, so she tries to lean into that. Tries. Sixteen. Uh, oh, sixteen. <laughs> okay. Um. You dimension door. Yeah. The blue orb once again carries you away, and now you are riding a T-Rex. <laughs> you're you're stood on its back, facing the opposite direction of, of the direction it's moving. So you're facing its tail. Uh, that's your action. Oh, okay. Right, that's my action. Um, I just I just want to hold on to it. I don't think there's any kind of bonusy thing I can do right now. I can't give myself inspiration. So. Gal um, Galbert, your commander's abandoned you. No, it feels now. I, I did say stay here. Roll a perception check. You've marked all these spell points off, yeah? Yes, I have. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not messing you. Eight. Nope, she's abandoned you. Oh, no. She's I, just... I mean, she said stay here, but she, she's left you in the middle I of a plane. should have made it clearer that it almost killed me. I'm now back to maximum health. <laughs> yeah, she she heard it almost killed you, and she got you to a safe place. Um, and now she's Galbert got to try and save everyone one by one. Of nine. This. So I feel like this is in character. <laughs> Someone's gonna die, and I really don't want them to. <laughs> this could not be going better. What's that you say a lot? Um, Ramora, don't spit the party. <laughs> I'm on a different plane of existence right now. So. Out of the box thinking. What happens next? Because she's just holding on to this dinosaur. No, 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 she's not holding on. Well, she's stood on the dinosaur. I can't, I'm not allowed to use any kind of bonus to basically, like, dig that a dagger. That was your grapple check. Yeah, that was it my grapple failed. check. <laughs> oh, I didn't realise that usually when you fail a grapple check, you're not just surfing on a dinosaur. Now, this time you are. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very Quote, false tweet. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very rare set of circumstances. <laughs> Yeah, is, it, is, is, on, is Galbert going to do anything? Go and jump on the dinosaur, we can all be in the plane. Do I see the T-Rex at least? With an eight? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's at this point, You're Galbert in. takes a sit down. <laughs> and he begins to meditate. Of course he does. On 
the meaning of togetherness? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll be joining you soon, mate. <laughs> he also then thinks of... Was there someone in that mouth? And that's going to be his turn. That's going to be his turn. All right, grand. Oh, my God. Uh, the T-Rex... Oh, is it? No, he's his first. Yeah, yeah. No. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, you your, bit me, then I did it. Yeah. Your yeah. deck score's eleven, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it beat I... you on a surprise round, so it is your turn first. So. Oh, is it? Yeah. In that case. The yeah. T Rex has blinked out of existence. It has left its three babies. Uh, four hundred and. and I imagine. Four hundred and seventy feet. I imagine they can't run as fast as their mummy. So what I'm going to do for my first action is drink that potion of healing. We clock the mummy at 35 kilometers an hour. Um, okay. That's fine. Thank, thank you. Um, drink the potion the, you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah potion. I believe that's 8d4 plus 8. Yes. Yeah. I was double checking. Do you want more d4? Uh, that, there's one. There you go. Thanks, guys. d4 but donations. d4, please. Oh, d4. Yeah, sorry, triangles. Triangles? Well, I just blow on these You know that. Uh, Three, five, six, seven, eight. Eleven, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-two, plus eight, thirty. 30. I am. That's not bad. That, that, yes, well, I was on ten hit points before, so yeah, that is better. Um, what was it? Thirty, so I'm on forty hit Thank points. Thank you. Cool. Then, um, uh, can I hold the dimension? Yeah, what are you holding it until? Until I see a T Rex reappear again. And then, there it is. Dimension Dawn is back. With my superior acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, you can do that. Now it's the T Rex instead. Uh, the T Rex runs uh, 50 feet towards wherever Galbert was. Um, meaning it's. Oh, are you, what, do you use your movement? Or are you just standing No, still? I'm waiting. Great, okay. Um, and then it uses its bonus action to move to the ethereal plane. Uh, with you on its right. back, yep. uh, you fall off. Okay. And you are now in the ethereal plane, which, as I said, is the, exactly the same as the material plane, except it's sort of mon mon monochromatic, and you've got these, these white, like, ash floating around. Um, Can I see Jeffrey? Roll a perception check as you fall off a back. <laughs> yes, it is. They're, in fact, we're using both here. So uh, they're, they're on a plane, but they're also on planes of existence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll say field instead. Modified 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you see him. You're looking out for him. You twist yourself around as you fall down, and it looks like he had the same idea as you did because he's all the way over there. But he's within 500 feet. He's within 500 feet. Um, ready Jeffrey, action, you see, you see a T Rex come back. Can I see her fall off? You uh, roll a perception check. <laughs> nope. No. You see a T Rex come back. Yes, I'm gone. <laughs> uh, roll a grappling check for me. What's that? Using your acrobatics. So just use your acrobatics. <laughs> 17 bitches. Total. 17. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and you're on the T Rex's back. And you're riding it, and you're holding on to it. Uh, and you see this happen. I see that happen. Is and then you hit the floor. Uh, is it my go? Roll an acrobatics check. That's what I want to do, is to try and hold on. Uh, 18. You uh, just managed to mitigate the fall, even though you're falling face first off of the T-Rex. Uh, you take three bludgeoning damage. Okay, okay. It was going to be six. So. Uh, love, that's lovely. Yeah. Um, you also notice the baby, uh, the baby Rex nest, be with that twenty perception. Okay. Uh, it's back that way. So if Jeffrey was that way, it's back that way. It's, it's back towards the forest. You. Towards the forest. Towards the forest. Um, but I, I've only, I didn't spot it when I was in the material plane. I've only spotted it when it was. It's was in not the, in the material yeah, plane. Yeah, it's only in the as ethereal plane. As far as you plane. can see, it's okay. only in the ethereal plane. Um, is it my go? Who's, who's turn? Uh, is it the dinosaur? It, well, yeah, the, the, the dinosaur used its turn. It is now Relora's turn. Oh, no, it's Galbert's turn. Galbert, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> How are you? Cool. Relora, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, 
Um, how far am I from the from the dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> He's on another plane right now. Uh, you're about 25 feet from the dinosaur. It's moving pretty quick. <laughs> oh, I'm really, I'm really burning through these. I'm really burning through these. She's going to get stuck on the ethereal plane if not. Dimension door onto its back again. Try and at least get back into the material plane. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's what you do? Yep. Roll your acrobatics check for me. Oh, God. Oh, please, 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 please. That's not good. Um, <laughs> that's a nine. <gasps> okay. Your commander suddenly appears in front of you. Oh, hello. But she's misjudged it. Um, and she just... she She's not quite lined it up correctly, the dimension door. And she just falls to the ground. How far away is she? She's, she's reaching out her she's hand. Right, she she's right in front of you. So you're holding on to the. Oops. You're holding on to the T Rex's neck like this, and she's there. Can I try and use my reflexes to try and catch her? You can, yeah. Roll a dexterity saving throw for me. Oh, do I'm I need especially to do good at dexterity. <laughs> do I need to roll a death or. Oh, motherfucker! Yes! <laughs> natural 20! That is a natural 20. Um, can I get. Like me now, do you? <laughs> But she's not fucking damaging door away from me now, do you? Yeah? Fudging! Fudging. Yeah, yeah. Stream. Please, please stop with sorry, this moment. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. As... So, sorry, sorry kids. Uh, so, as, yeah, all those, all those children we have watching. Come see my kids show. So, <laughs> as the commander right. pops into existence, you, you can see that she's, she's fudged it up. Um, and you just grab her arm as, uh, as she falls. Um, and hold, you hold her up. Thank uh, you, Jeffrey. Although sh she's not on the bed, she's now just, just riding just along <laughs> beside. So I'm grabbing hold of some like. You're holding on to a T Rex neck. with your yeah. And, the, uh, and, and you have got a absolutely. And it's now your turn. <laughs> I'd like to pull her up as much as I can, if possible. Yeah, use your athletics to do that, which is even worse than your acrobatics. Oh, that is much worse. Yeah. Can I do nothing? No, I, I see my... Uh, Relora, I presume you're going to try and help him yes. get you on its back, so you can roll with advantage. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I'm, I'm keen of, on Probably for the best. being on it. I rolled a two. And an eleven. Okay, yeah, you... Oh, sorry, just... it's ten overall. <laughs> <laughs> so you just managed to pull her up, um, and uh, you sort of swing her around the neck, and she flips up onto the back, um, like yeah. Legolas mounting that horse in two towers. Yes. Uh, onto the back of the T Rex. Half elf. <laughs> Try it, mate. I'm, Others I'm have. Others have tried. It, it, has, it <laughs> hasn't come up, but she's actually asexual. It's genuinely not come up, but. Yes, well, you don't want to know what Jeffrey's sexuality is. <laughs> That's right, I don't. <laughs> Let's move on. The Blink Rex <laughs> has two things on its back now question you're all wondering is has it noticed <laughs> no it hasn't um, it, We're not it can't see it rolled a critical failure <laughs> yeah. you could you could be playing a one-man band and it wouldn't know you were there funny you should say that um you it stops running and it starts moving back to where its uh, babies are uh, it's very it sort of huffs like <sighs> It's very upset that it's lost the prey that it was going to bring back to its babies. And then at the end of its turn, it blinks back to the material plane. Um, Galbert, I think it's your turn. You you roll a perception check for me. Yeah. Critical success. You see everything that I have described. I see through space and time. Fantastic. F furthermore, um, less than a kilometre that way is a canyon Ooh. behind you. That's nice. How far away is the T-Rex? Oh, you're asking me now, aren't you? Um, it's, a, let's say, about 400 feet. Well, you're about to how, see how what far? a level 9 monk can do. How fast can Galbert move? Oh, I Galbert, am excited. My full movement, standard movement, is 40 feet. Yes. I'm going to take the dash action, and now I'm going 80. to spend a key point to do Foot of the Wind and do a further 40. So that's 120, 120. feet in six seconds. <laughs> Whoa. Gal Usain Bolt hit Gal her. 
Galba. All these nerds are really impressed. <laughs> Galba ankle twinkle toes for no reason, and he just flies across this field um, towards the T Rex. Uh, it is now about 280 feet away from you. It'll take you about 12 seconds to get there. It's fine. It's fine. Um, you're not particularly attempting to be stealthy, are you? Nope. I mean, if it blinks. Doesn't doesn't matter. The T Rex hasn't seen you. <laughs> <laughs> so. Like. Relora. Um, I want to jump off it. Sure. Roll an acrobatics check. That is nine. You fall off. Well, I'm off. You tactically fall off. That was the aim. Yeah. How how much? Oh, yeah. Tactical falling of. Uh, tactical. Fl- five bludgeoning damage as you hit the floor on your uh, shoulders. You see your commander, Jeffrey, just sort of go, ah! And just <laughs> fall off the side of the T-Rex. You should have rolled. <laughs> um, anything else? You're um, now prone. Was that my my action or technically movement? Oh, it's technically movement and you're now prone, so you would you use all of the rest of your movement to get back up. Okay. I get back up. And, uh, oh, God damn it, I should have done it when I was touching it. Um, yeah, no, I know. Uh, I want to... Jeffrey's not going to like me. I don't, I did like you for a second. No, I didn't like you. You've been horrible to me. You were casting spells left, right, centre for other people that aren't me. Uh, Cheers, mate. Um, okay. Can you not hold it until I'm off? I, okay, I'll hold an action until Jeffrey's off. What are you holding? Casting Thunder Wave. Cheers. Okay. Sure. Is it, is it going to be too far away by that point? Uh, you need to cast. You can't tell. No. I mean, you you don't think it will be. Okay. Just about. I, I it's going to be clutch. I hold off on ca- casting Thunder Wave until he's off it. Okay. Um, also, roll a perception check for me. Uh, that is 11. Like the very wind of the fields, Galbert is heading towards you from the, uh, the canyon direction. He's looking a lot healthier um, than I was expecting. Was. Yeah, exactly. Um, Jeffrey, what are we up to, mate? <laughs> Apart from riding a T-Rex. Great time. Yeah? I'm, I'm quite happy where I am. Okay. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> right. Don't tell me that. I'm the GM. Motherfu- mother fudger. Uh, some shit... Some shizzle's gonna go down. <laughs> I'm fine, I've got it, it's sorted. So, firstly, using meta magic. Meta magic, yep. I'm going to quicken a spell, yep. Dimension Door. Uh, and I'm going to magic myself uh, 20 feet in behind this budger uh, as he's running away. Are you also going to move? 12 feet downwards. Yeah, that is, was it heavily implied from what I said? Yeah. Because I don't okay. want to make the same mistake. That this yeah, I just didn't, I'm did. not actually a mean DM. Like, I, I I'm trying to help. <laughs> um, okay. It means a lot to me. Oh, okay, cool. Mark your uh, sorcerer points so that's, off. Uh, an extra two points from there. Uh, yes. So that's, okay. Right, then, because that was a bonus <laughs> action. <laughs> actually, uh, no, sorry, it's a boop. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, I remember. Please be specific. I remember. I'm going to <laughs> cast... <laughs> Blight on this T Rex. Um, Wonderful, that's a constitution saving throw. It is, is it and he's within 30 feet because I specifically said within 20 feet. You did, I remember. It's almost like you're. I, plan I researched was... these spells beforehand. I'm very impressed. Uh, my Blink Rex rolls a 3, which is a 7. That was my celebration. Give me 8 D8, please. No, but I'll friend. give you some D8. I, I can give you 1 D8. Five. So wait, he's come off and he's cast lights. Uh, he has he dime- He hasn't jumped oh, off. So it's this almost simultaneous as light and thunder. So what you see, it, yeah. So what you see is the dimension door just <laughs> good. off. Uh, sorry, boop, not bad. Off, and then you cast oh. your thunder wave. Can you describe your blight spell to me uh, just after you finish doing your maths? Yeah. Uh, so uh, okay, yeah, I'll count it. You, ca- you count it while I'm doing. I'm going to stand up. Uh, so. Um, oh. Okay, I'll, I'll sit down. Um, quite excited. Um, I'm in shock. You're not. So um, as I, I kind of materialise um, 20 feet away from this T-Rex, um, I hold my hands out in a very dramatic fashion 
and my and you can kind of see the electricity rippling around my bronze skin. Okay. Um, and this kind of horrible kind of darkness appears around uh, the the T Rex. Metal. M kind of metallic, bronzy. Kind no, of I'm saying that's metal as yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, is that it? Yeah, a kind of a weird kind of horrible, like a plague around. Absolutely, you see the this happen. Um, what is unmistakably necrotic energy, um, and you look over at uh, Jeffrey, and you can see it's definitely him casting the spell. Simultaneously, you let off your thunder wave. Yep. Uh, How much damage is it? 40. Sorry. 40 damage. And then afterwards, I'm going to look at her and shout, Why don't you like me? <laughs> Which is about as much as the T-Rex did to you, right? So Yeah, it's one less. Surely you're even. <laughs> um, oh, I'm looking at her, yeah. Can I... Can mm, I, can I Apparently I'm the enemy here. <laughs> Unless you're going to pass it again. The rest of mine. Uh, roll your thunder wave. There we go. Uh, it's a... Well, sounds silly. It's con saving throw first from the dinosaur. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh this God one's, damn it! This one somehow it passes, um, so it doing fails it against the blight spell. <laughs> uh, what, what is? Okay. How many rolls is it at second level? At uh, second level, it's uh, two, I think. Oh, uh, in that case, it's ten. Or was it two d eight at first level? Two d eight at first so level. So three. Eighteen. So half to nine. Uh, half to nine. Okay. Surprisingly enough, this is actually the first time the T-Rex has been damaged. Um, and boy, does it look pissed. Um, and I also, in response to why don't you like me, I shout back, I came back to save you! I, 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 I'm just going to let that... Uh, I'm going to go... Leave it at that. And as you do that, the T-Rex turns around and attacks you. Again?! Firstly, it, it, uh, it smacks Relora with its tail. Or okay, attempts, that's it, fine. I'm it's fine. going to attempt to smack Relora with its tail and bite you. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm preemptively saying I'm probably gonna cutting words both of these. Um, you can only cut your words one. One, one okay, because so the reaction. The tail is remarkably 14 to hit. That's my armor class. Oh! Cutting words. Really? Because I know it will work. Hmm? Well, I mean, no, she has to decide. Yeah, if this one, I know, and I know that the lowest I roll on cutting words will save it. So, so yeah, cutting words. Okay, roll. Uh, what what do you say to distract this dinosaur from hitting you with its tail? I'm I'm assuming they exist in our, or they exist in the history of our world. Yeah, yeah. You should be extinct. Just that. Roll, roll, just, roll, roll your cutting words. She's she's just very one, <laughs> all that she needed. So that takes it down to thirteen, which misses you. Um, <laughs> The she, she was under pressure. It wasn't very good. At look, the dinosaur's very upset uh, that you should imply that it should be dead. <laughs> so it shouldn't have even existed in the first place. Yeah, it, its tail just sails over Relora's head. Um, now it's going to try and bite oh, Jeffrey. Oh, that's cool. Please don't hurt. Please don't hurt. Twenty-four. Hang on, let me just check. If it has <laughs> cutting words, probably would have been useless against that. So. I think it might just be a hit. <laughs> that is 33 damage. Well. Oh, God. I am still standing. Are you? <laughs> what? Stronger just. than he ever did. Thank God I had that potion anyway. <laughs> and you're considered grappled. Well done. Oh, no. And is then he... it blinks back to the ethereal <laughs> plane. <laughs> This is the most evil monster I've ever run. <laughs> Ten minutes, thank Thanks. you very much. Uh, it's one of the most evil monsters I've ever run. I do not control time, I have not <laughs> This oh, God damn it. is amazing. <laughs> How close is Galbert? Uh, Galbert is about 120 feet away, is that correct? 240 feet away, sorry. Yep. Got He's two about two, 240 feet away. Uh, Galbert, it is now actually your turn. I'm going to do what I did before. <coughs> can you roll a perception check for me first, quickly? Of course I can. <laughs> you just, because because of the exertion from the running, uh, you, you don't see any of what just happened. You're just running. He's looking down. That's yeah, head down into the wind. That's fine. Doing the Tom Cruise run. 
<laughs> I will expend the key point and do the 120 feet in one turn again. Sure. Um, Galbert is 240 feet away, but he's not going to be 240 feet away for much longer. Uh, he is coming. Uh, it's your turn. Um, right now, I am just kind of basically spinning so I can see in all directions because I've no idea when this thing's coming back. <laughs> You're Mark Wahlberg in every movie. Roll a perception <laughs> check, please. <laughs> Uh, 18. 18? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you see Galbert coming, you see the canyon in the distance, um, and you see the forest uh, from whence you came. Uh, you don't see the T-Rex and Jeffrey. Uh, or Jeffrey, I should say. Uh, now we have a unit now. <laughs> Your team. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's anything she wants to, to ready. Number. I don't know if it's anything she wants to ready, but um, her next out of the box idea is I when. I the last one worked. <laughs> well, this is well, it didn't really work because someone's back in the ethereal plane and we're all spread out across this field. Um, basically, tell me what I need to have readied. Mm -hmm. When it comes back, she doesn't want to get on its back. She just wants to be able to touch it and cast tongues. Fucking hell. <laughs> if there's any way to even just like you want to raise. Talk to the T Rex. Okay. Okay. Um, now, see, you can only ready one thing at a time. Yeah, so it's ready and going to touch it. Yeah. Okay. Which I presume would be another dimension. Depends how far away it is. Well, you, d you don't know. Yeah. And you have to make the decision. If I ready a dimension door and it turns up close to me, do I just drop that or does dimension door no, still No, dimension happen? door you can use to travel between one and 500 feet. It's not, you just travel 500 feet. But if, feet. if it's within five feet, she's not going to want to expend that magic. So That's the thing. Okay, she doesn't ready dimension door. She readies to, to move, but not dimension door. Okay, Because she's fine. burning three points. Uh, you can ready a dash action. Well, yeah, sure. Um, sorry, that got noodly again. Um, yes, apologies. Jeffrey, you're, hey, hey. you're not in its mouth like before. You're currently being grappled by the leg. That's better. Dangling, and you can see this time. So, improvements. Do I, do I feel anything when it... No. Okay. Um, uh, roll an arcana, arcana check. Why not? Uh, 19... There is 18. A, 18. There is a slight tug on your soul but it's nothing you don't feel any physical, physical damage it's more no kind of it's more of a <laughs> it's, 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 it's a little bit like your spirit has been dunked in cold water I've had that before yeah um, you're back on the ethereal the monochromatic bluish ethereal plane with the dust floating all around you what would you like to do um you're in a T-Rex's mouth it's heading towards no, its babies no. You said I was in the feet. You're in its no. You're in, in its mouth, but your feet, out. your feet, My feet are, in its mouth. are in its mouth. Okay. Um. Now, just I, I don't know if I would know this. So I don't know if it's a magic game or not. But um, would I know if I stayed in its mouth? Would I get all kinds of damage? Uh, it feels like the damage is done here. <laughs> okay. Like it's, like, it's uh, you, you, you cast a moment. You, you have a. Th feel of your body you wish you didn't there's a splitting pain in your right well, calf yeah where its tooth is in embedded it. right in, in your calf yes. uh, but you don't feel and and you do get a slight <laughs> every time it steps yeah <laughs> but it's not it's I'm, I'm not in a bad sapping way. you ever yeah like if he does any, any more damage to me i'm dead well you're unconscious well let, let's let's not be you're unconscious me. on the ethereal plane <laughs> <laughs> So here's what's going to happen. Uh, I am going to uh, hold the dimension door action until I'm back in the normal human plane, the good plane. Okay. Or at least the weird new plane that we're in. Where all my mates are. The world, yeah, the world. My, my new best friend and <laughs> Okay. The uh, the Blink Rex, um, as I call it, the Blink Rex, <laughs> thank you, um, moves about. 50 feet towards its babies. Oh, for God's sake. And then at the end of its turn... Spits me out. 
it does not blink back to the material plane. Um, <laughs> uh, Galbert. Yeah. New plan, new plan, new plan, new plan. New what plan. are we doing, buddy? Well, I've made it this far. You have. You might as well get to Relora. I will get to Relora. Okay, spending another key point, and there is a, a burst of wind, like just before in the real world, like just before a truck, like just before a truck comes past you, yeah. and it's pushing the wind. It's moving a little bit too fast. Uh, that happens, except it's very localized, and then suddenly Galbert is next to you. Um. Okay. Uh, can I ask a very, this is a very quick out of character question. Yeah. Because it depends on what plan or it comes up with. Sure. Dimension door. Yeah. It's to somewhere you know, but it has to be in the same plane? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not to between planes. It's we an can't in, get to it's the other plane. It's an intra-dimensional door, not an inter-dimensional door. We can't get to, um, okay, so Galbert appears and you, do you stop at me? Yep. And there's, and there's a plume of dirt as he comes to a grinding <laughs> stop. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> the thing's taken Jeffrey. I don't know how to... I'm waiting for it to come back. I, you were here before. How do these things work? I, I never encountered this creature before. I encountered one that spat colourful rainbows at me. I saw, I saw some... Uh, there, was a, there was a nest and its children. There are some dead dinosaurs that we killed just back at the forest. If we can somehow get them there, then maybe I'll take those instead. Whatever you say, Commander. I don't know how to get there, though. Six seconds. Yeah, uh, <laughs> easily. Uh, hey, mate. Hey, Jeffrey. How you doing? I'm not great right now. No. no. <laughs> You're in a T-Rex's mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Jeffrey. On the wrong plane of existence. That, well, yeah. What would you like to do? He's not blinked back. No. I would like to use Dimension Door. Again. To go about five. Back. As it okay, yeah, sure. He said he's got his little baby oh. things now. Yep. And he's not moving. And I, I'll be honest. I've been back and forth across this area a lot. I know. I know this area very well. I'll allow that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like to try and get on his back. Roll an acrobatics check for me. And roll well. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's We're going to have to disinfect that now after you leave. Well, now look what's happened. You've, you've given it a bad mood. <laughs> what, what did you roll? Oh! <laughs> you take three bludgeoning damage. I'm not dead yet! <laughs> <laughs> As you fall to the floor. Can I touch his foot? No. That was your action. Okay, well, I was just wondering if I was, I was close enough to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were. So, this is not like a, a move or bonus action, just go... In case it, in case it, oh, in case it blinks, blinks again. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure, you can maintain contact with its foot. By, by your attitude, I expect it's probably not going to do that, but... <sighs> we can drink. Uh, the T-Rex notices that you're no longer in its mouth. <laughs> well done. Uh, it notices where you are. I'm really sorry, it's gonna to try to take Wait, you. no! Wait, no! I've got a bonus action, haven't I? You have. <laughs> You've got. I, I don't need one minute! You've got 60 seconds to, to save yourself. <laughs> As a bonus action using meta magic! Yeah. Quick and spell. Why am I doing this? I hold monster! Hold monster! <laughs> you had hold monster this entire time! And you've not been using it! I've had a lot to drink, thank you very much! <laughs> What's your DC? 19. 17. Uh, yeah, the T-Rex looks at you and it goes to bite you. And then it's paralysed. Now I'm stuck in the fucking ethereal plane. And God, that's where ethereal we plane. leave this hour of Adventurous Wanted. Thank you very much for being here for that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh isn't this weird and wonderful?
wonderful Naomi, everybody. Yeah, sorry, back to me. Don't be that drunk. Right. I'm not drunk. <laughs> I'm just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> The best hour of adventurous <laughs> one, <laughs> In the morning ones, we're all crying and role playing, and it's all beautiful and delicate, and then oh, it all goes different. In the as well. <laughs> That's why. Uh, um, if you would like in car combat, uh, please feel free to watch us on Twitch, Twitch TV slash Adventures Wanted, or follow us on Twitter at Adventures Two Fifty, where we are live streaming to the people I'm having away. Um, <laughs> Sentence, they've got a kids show. None of you have kids, obviously. I've also got this show. It's called Lonely. It's called the Tinder Games, uh, in which I try and get uh, comedians dates within an hour. It's quite late. I'll give you a fly if you're interested, but if you're not, don't waste my time. I've also got How to Be a Winner, which is the best show I do uh, by myself, in which I recreate every 90s game show from the 90s uh, and combine them into one Uber game show. So 2:30 in the newsroom. Please come because otherwise I'll be alone again. In the ethereal plane. In the yes. Ethereal plane. <laughs> um, if you would like to stay for the next hour, you are more than welcome. All you've got to do is pop down to everyone's house for a ticket. I know um, you have your ticket ready. You can stay here and support your stuff. Um, other than that, uh, you can also, you can buy, also buy a player ticket. ticket. You can also buy a player ticket. If you want to get involved in this hot mess. Uh, if you want to come and help save James's character from the blood crap. Crap, 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 crap. I'm just what's going to happen. Right. Thank you very much for coming. I have no idea. Uh, Thank you. 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 Thank you.